What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Ninja Foodie Pro. Today, for you guys, I'm going to make some creamy Brussels sprouts and bacon, y'all. I got this already cut up from my local supermarket. I'm just going to give this a wash and we should be good to go. This is a pound of Brussels sprouts, by the way. All right, have my Brussels sprouts washed. And so now I'm going to put some of this bacon grease in there. Uh, two tablespoons. And I'm going to sprinkle some of my go to in there, which is pink salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. Link will be in the description to that. My subscribers, a lot of you guys will pick this up and love it. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and mix this, guys. Give it a good mix. I want everything to get everything. Oh yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna pour a cup, a little bit under a cup and a half of water. I'm gonna put a link in the description to this little steam basket that I'm using. This makes things a whole lot easier because we are going to pressure cook these Brussels sprouts real easy. Alright guys, I'm going to hit pressure cook, leave it on high, and believe it or not, I'm doing zero minutes. Make sure my valve is on seal. Zero minutes, that'll give it a little chew because we're going to cook it a little more in our creams, creamy sauce. So. Alright, we're done. I'm going to hit stop and I'm going to release the pressure. This is six pieces of bacon, which is basically a half a pound. Well, there you have it, guys. I'm going to take this out and pour the juice from the pot in my measuring cup to discard later. It'll cool off in the cup. All right, guys. I'm going to add about, yeah, a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Actually, guys, I added one cup. I want to fill the bottom. I add one cup of uh, heavy whipping cream, and I'm also gonna add one cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt. Well, I'll just put my go-to in there. Why not? Or you could just add salt. Doesn't matter. be good. The recipe did call for like three to five cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna put some of this garlic paste in there. Probably finish this up. Yeah, that should be good. And I am going to mix all of this up. This is gonna be nice and creamy. Okay, now I'm going to do something a little crazy. Hold on. Now, this is just extra credit right here, guys. Because I can, I am. This is a pressure cooker and an air fryer combined. So I'm going to air fry the Brussels sprouts just to crisp the tops here. Give them a little nice little char. And then we'll continue. I'm going to put this on broil. That's locked at 450. And guys, this was six, yeah, six minutes under broil. You do not have to do that. I just wanted to do it because I could. Not necessary. Alright, let's go ahead and add some butter. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on saute mode, but not high. We're just going to go with a medium. And while that's warming up, well, shouldn't take that long to warm up. I'm going to go ahead and break up my bacon. That's the last step we need to do. All right. Go ahead and give it a toss. Oh, that's looking good, guys. It's smelling so good. It's 
smelling fantastic guys I'm just gonna let it cook down a little more and just for kicks and giggles make it completely duck style I'm gonna put some Italian seasoning right on the top just to finish it off man I took a taste of the um, of the sauce and it was screaming please put some Italian seasoning on me <laughs> I'll be back alright guys that's what we're looking like and I'm about to make a plate because I'm hungry I tell all my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my videos even finished take a look at that y'all come on now come on now now a lot of people I've heard they don't like Brussels sprouts, and I was one of them. But this, if you like cabbage, I'm telling you, Brussels sprouts, now you have to season it. you got to put the salt, garlic powder, black pepper on it. You, it, you have to do that. But once you season it, it tastes, it, it tastes like cabbage. A little chewier. But I, I don't, it's good to me. Anywho, we're about to take a bite. There's some bacon in there. You take a bite first. You got it? Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm eating pasta. Um, it's good. Really good. And the bacon really takes the flavor to the next level. Like you didn't have to do the bacon. But it just takes it to the next level. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Too good. I've seen some people put chopped onions in it, but I don't feel that's necessary for this um, dish. But feel free to do that. I just didn't feel like it's necessary. With all the seasonings that I put in there. Nah. And y'all know I love me some onions. But for this one, come on, get on there. There we go. See that bacon? Get that. Mmm. I bet some of your kids would eat this. Because... I mean, of course, they're going to be like, what's this green stuff? But once they taste this, they'll be like, this is healthy? You'll be like, yep. Mm. And big up to the subscriber in my last live that I did on YouTube. A quick little giveaway. They had mentioned they wanted me to uh, make some Brussels sprouts and bacon. Big ups to you. That was a great suggestion. And it was fantastic. I had some cream to it. Fantastic. Thanks again. Well, y'all know I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. But before I go, I want to mention if you have a Ninja Foodie or the latest Ninja Foodie Pro, consider joining my Ninja Foodie Nation group. We'd love to see what you're making in your Ninja Foodie, whether you have the first version, the 8 core, 8 core Deluxe, or the Pro, whichever. We'd love to see what you're making in your Ninja Foodie. So I'll put a link in the description so you can join that group. Also, I'll leave a link in the description to my pressure cooking group. It's called Pressure Cooking with Doug. And no matter what pressure cooker you have, whether it be a Ninja Foodie Instant Pot, uh, Chef IQ, whatever you got, consider joining that group because we'd love to see what you're pressure cooking. We're always looking for ideas. So definitely take a look at that group or do a search in any of those groups and get some recipes. Guys, if you have an Instagram, look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Doug. But that's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug.